Hey guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be doing Top 5 B Funko Pops. You guys love Top 5 A Funko Pops, and if you guys are wondering, no, I'm not running out of ideas. I just think it'd be really cool to show off all the different letters, or all the different characters that start with different letters. I'm going to have a big, I'm going to have a hard time with X, so if you guys want to comment some X characters down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. But anyways, guys, let's get started with the first pop. Okay, so first up, I actually have a really cool 6-inch character. This is Baymax from Big Hero 6. Both start with B. It's pretty funny. Um, so this character is actually one of my favorite ones from the, from the Big Hero 6 line. I just love the way he looks in his armor, especially the way the, the wings come out on the back. They're thin, and they're pretty cool just the way they look. They look just like they do in the movie. Also, on the back here, it's got the stands where Hero could, you know, put his um, hands and feet so he could fly on the back of him. I like the visor on him, just the way it looks. It's also kind of popping off a bit, so it's not fully kind of like stuck there. It looks more like an actual kind of visor. I also like the purple on him. You can see it down there. His chest, it looks just like him. Too bad they didn't make a Nurse Baymax like this. I think that would have been really cool. But anyways, guys, all in all, this is a great pop. So up next, guys, I actually have BMO from Adventure Time. Now, this is the metallic version from Hot Topic. This is a really cool character. I honestly love this one better than the... I like this one way better than the original one. You guys can see him there. Just let it focus for a second, just because this one is such a cool character. There you go, guys. I love the little smile on his slash her face. I couldn't tell you. Um, I love the little smile on him. And especially the little buttons here, the triangle, and then the two circles. Um, this is this is very detailed on the character. You can see that there's a little bit of a black indent on it in the show, and I like how they added that there. Also, the gamepad with the different lines. This pretty much looks just like BMO from the front, and then from the side here, it says BMO with the you know the speaker on the side. I especially like it how they did the O through the arm like it is in the show. And on this side, same with the speaker over here. It's a very different character because it's very boxy, but I do really like it, and I think it's a great character. Who's your friend who likes to play? Bing bong, bing bong. He actually has two letters that start with B. I think that's really cool, and I actually love this character. I love it to me how many colors they put in this one. You can see here, his face looks very detailed. I like the mouth on the side here, how most pop characters don't have mouths. And actually, hold on, just let me fix myself here. To be honest, most of the characters um, from, you know, like, um, shoot inside out, don't look like a normal pop beside the eyes. So, if he didn't have these eyes, I wouldn't think he was a normal pop character. I think he'd be a lot different, actually. Um, I love the flower on him, especially the bow tie that's there. And he is made out of cotton candy, so I like the way he's a nice pinkish color. I like his suit on him, which looks really detailed. Um, it's actually got, like, a bit of a checkered pat on pattern on it. Um, it looks really neat. Here, let me see if I can get that so you guys can see the checkeredness, or checkered pattern part. There we go, guys. So, you can see a bit of a checkered pattern here. Especially on the back. I love his tail. It's just so cool and detailed. Um, there is a bit of glue on the back of mine, which I'm not that concerned about. You can kind of see it like right about here. Honestly, guys, this one doesn't focus. Not... There we go. You can see a bit of glue there, but other than that, he looks pretty good. And his hat is super detailed. I love how small it is and how it looks on his head, especially with the ears flopping in different directions. Honestly, guys, this BB-8 looks like it just wants to start rolling. I love this character. You don't see a body on a character like this too often, and there's not a big, there's not too many opportunities that Funko can do to make a character look like this, you know, just for fun. So BB-8 being almost like a head on a head looks really cool. And if a little fun fact, BB-8's actually called that because he looks like a B and an eight which is really cool. Um, the bottom on him, normally they have the two pegs in him, but for this base, he actually has a different one. It's more of like a half square, or like a square with a corner cut out of it. It's pretty cool, and I like it. It's just to show where it goes on the front. The head's really cool. It's a bobblehead, of course, just because it's Star Wars. I like the little antenna on it, and the lines are really clean on it. I also like the sides, how detailed it is, and it is bumpy, and, you know, it's a really cool character, and it feels like, it almost looks like it'd be made out of metal. Too bad they didn't make a metallic version of this. They did make a golden one, which was chrome, which was exclusive to Hot Topic for Black Friday. But other than that, this is a really great pop. Okay guys, so last but not least, I actually have Beast. Now this is the newer one. This is pretty bur pretty much bursting out of the box. That's a lot of B words. Beast bursting out of box. 
Um, this is a really cool character. I honestly love the way the teeth look on him. As you can see here, almost like fangs coming out of his mouth. He's got that bird that he does in the movie in his hands, as well as another duck on his fore on his head. I don't know why it looks like a duck, but it looks like a little rubber duck. And there isn't even one in the movie that's a yellow bird that flies near him like that or sits on his head, so I don't know why they put it. But it is really cool, other, uh, all in all, just the way it looks. I love the horns on him. I also love the cape on him. The nice blue color looks really cool. I also really like he's got, like, you can see, like, a bit of, like, a scarf under him or something like that with, like, a wrap around him in blue. I also really like his feet. They're really detailed. I also like how the pants and no paint really runs off into other parts of the character. But anyways, guys, this has been my top five B Funko Pops. If you guys want me to do C, just comment down below. Let's do C. Let's see C next. But anyways, guys, this isn't going to be the only top fives that I do from now on. I'm also going to be finishing off the color ones and I have a few other ones that are coming soon that aren't, you know, letters. So anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Top Pops. C's coming soon. Thanks for watching. X go give it to you. What? Wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to you. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real. With the non-stop pop out and stay.